Hi guys, this is just a quick daytime Valentine's Day look. I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, let's get into it. It's summertime, baby. So first I'm going to use my Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and I'm just going to use a dab of that all over my face. Then I'm going to be using the Maybelline Pure Cover Mineral Concealer. I'm pretty sure this was in the colour Sand, um, but I'm not too sure. I do that in triangles under my eyes, um, a couple of blemishes, a line down my nose, and any redness or imperfections I see on my face. Then I'm using my Kiko Skin Revolution foundation and a sponge and I'm just going to blend that all over my face. I used three squares and that tends to be enough to cover my face and neck. Then I'm just grabbing my fluffy brush and my bronzer. I don't know what make this is, it's rubbed off, but I think it's Maybelline. And I'm just gonna put that on my jawline, my forehead, and my from my ear to my lip. I'm talking to myself there because I put my bronzer on before my powder. With my Kiko makeup I tend to not use powder unless it's slightly warm, outside of which case then it would start to shine, so I've just added some powder around where I put my bronzer. Then I'm going to go in with my blusher. Now this is actually a set that I got for Christmas when I was about 12 but I love the blush colour, it's just a nice rose pink and I put that on the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm going to use the Kiko Eye Base and I'm just going to use the tiniest amount of this on my eyelid up to my brow bone. And I'm going to use this Sun Kissed palette. This again was another present affair few years ago so I'm not sure what brand it is and I'm just using this sandy whitey golden colour and putting it all over the lid of my eye. And then with the same flat brush, I'm going to go in with this pale pink colour and go from the outer corner of my eye to the middle of my eyelid and slightly in the crease all the way inwards. Then with a round brush, I'm going to go in with a medium to dark brown colour and I'm just going to put that into the crease of my eye. It's summertime, baby. Cut 
colours aren't showing up too well on my laptop so I'm sorry about that but I'll try to add some pictures in the end of the video tutorial so that you can maybe see a better look at how the eyeshadow ends up finishing. Now I'm going to use my PS Love Primark liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to do a cat wing line on my eyelid. The mirror was actually behind my laptop so I used this smaller mirror just to get more preci precision and see what I'm doing slightly better. And the same on the other eyelid, just a cap wing line. Then just with a Kai, Kai Ray, I think you say it, black eyeliner pencil I use on the top and bottom waterline. Any black eyeliner pencil would do, but this is my favourite. I think it's just so bold and bright. Curling my eyelashes, I start in the middle then I do one towards the end and one closer to my eyelid. That way I feel it just curls my eyelashes slightly better. From that I'm going to use my Scandalize Flex Mascara. This is from Rimmel London. And I actually went off of this mascara for probably about a year, a year and a half. Just because I didn't like how it made my eyelashes look. But I've come back to it recently and I really, really like how it makes my eyelashes look. It sort of makes them look like I've got false eyelashes on without going to the effort of putting false eyelashes on. It just builds up the volume and length and it's very black and bold, which I really, really like. So I've come back to this after having it in my beauty box for quite a while and I'm really, really enjoying it. Now I'm going on to my eyebrows. This palette, again, was another present. I do know that it was from Primark, and I just used the darkest powder, and then I used the gel to keep it all in place. It's not the best, but it's all I have, and at the minute, I can't find an eyebrow pencil or gel that I like. So if anybody knows any that I can buy online that's not too expensive, tell me down below, and I will have a look at them and see if I like them or not. So that is the gel one there that's slightly more worn out and as I just said, that's gonna keep my eye brows in place so that they don't blow all over the place. On my lips, I'm going to use this lip plumper. This was a present, but I do think it was from Primark. And it's just a gel lip gloss type product. 
that just plumps up your lips a little bit and is really really nice it smells like peppermint then I'm going to be using a nude pink lip liner that I got off of eBay um, and I slightly overline my bottom lip and occasionally on my top lip I don't think I did on on the top lip this time with the peppermint lip plumper my lip liner just slides on so 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 well and it doesn't make my lips look as dry and it doesn't smudge it's really really good I like using the two of these together then I'm going in with a pink lipstick this was from my local supermarket in the beauty department but it is just a pink lipstick with a slightly neutral toning to it. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline concealer again and I'm just going to highlight my Cupid's bow a little bit and then make sure the lines of my lips are nice and straight and not smudged. Then I'm going in with this Chi Chi lip gloss. Again, this was a present years ago. Um, it was purchased in Australia along with the whole lip gloss set. And that is my makeup look. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>